What's up, family? What's up, family? What's up, family? And welcome to another episode of Limelight, where we're taking it to the 24th floor. Today, we're at a private location for the Rolling Out cover reveal. We talked to author, elder, and motivational speaker, Marwin Strong. We are here with the one and only Bang from Ink Masters yeah. Season 9. I'm looking at the fit. I mean, I feel like I can tell you you, you, you in the fashion, right? So, what was behind your fashion choice today? You know what? I changed three times already today, right? I did too. Because you said you suffer a little bit from depression, you know, just trying to be in this industry. What do you feel drove you to that point? Because I, I didn't know that. And I'm sorry, friend. I, I didn't know you was going through that. Why do you think in our community, we are so scared in, you know, if we were to have a mental issue? Yeah, you know, it's, it's so interesting because um, that's a question that comes up a lot. Oh my gosh. So a couple times, not once, but twice, I was arrested for protesting nonviolently for Breonna Taylor. And the reason why I felt like it was important and imperative for me to be there on the front lines is because Breonna Taylor could have been me. We haven't seen you in a while, first of all. So just tell us, what have you been up to? Where have you been? Well, if you check out Amazon, I have a television show called Ragnaron. Do you feel like with shows like this, they already kind of know coming in who they want to yep. win? Yes, yes. Really? And I'm going to say that's a fact. I know, you know, clients come to you, but do you also like find people and say, hey, I think, you know, I can help you out with some stuff? Um, what do I look for in a client? That's a good question. I'm sorry, you know, we could talk forever. So when I had ran into you, um, you were playing a lot of dance hall, you were playing a lot of Afro beats, and like, you just had me on my feet the whole entire time. How did you decide that you wanted Nick Cannon to play yourself? Well, you, you know, you know, Nick Cannon, I want you to hear this. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of Nick Cannon. Mm, you I know, love Nick Cannon. And, 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 okay. and growing up, I always was told out him I look. Yeah, ah. yeah. We, we, we always look. I have to bring it back just for a second. What are you working on? What's new for you? Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Everything that you can think of. What do you feel was one of the toughest things, you know, just being with all these girls, like you said, and being recorded all the time? Well, the toughest thing is, first of all, we're in a house with no TVs, okay? And then we can't be on our phones. Yeah, and we're recording for like 12, 15 hours a day. Camera's constantly on us. Mind you, I don't, if you have a significant other, there's no sex. Would you recommend becoming an associate producer for reality TV, yes or no? Why? Yes, because it helps you plan great dates. What? I'm going to be honest. It helps you plan great dates. Have you ever used that? Like, have you ever used your connections from a show? Come to on now. Dates? Like, you really trying to put me out there right now. <laughs> you brought it up. I wasn't, I didn't even know. I, I have friends. I have friends. <laughs> Well, folks, it's a wrap and it's time to go. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. And until next time, you don't want to miss it.